I go to the movies alone a lot. In 2022, I've seen about 35 movies. 22 have been theatrical releases. And 19 of those 22 I saw in theaters. And that's excluding the Batman, which I saw like seven times in theaters. That's besides the point. Going to the theaters alone is really fun. So in this video, you guys, three reasons why you should go. And honestly, why you shouldn't be scared. Before we get into it, I do make content regarding movies and TV shows like breakdowns, reactions, and reviews. So subscribe so you don't miss any of that stuff. But again, today I'm going to the movies alone and I'm going to take you with me just to prove that going to the movies alone is a lot of fun. And we're going to start off with the first season right here and that's that you can pick whatever movie you want to watch not only do you pick the movie you want to watch but you don't have to wait for anyone else to choose what movie they want to watch you don't have to settle for any other movie you can just watch whatever you want so there's a lot of movies out in theaters right now and i've seen a lot of them so i wanted to go watch this new indian movie that came out it's just a big bollywood blockbuster film it's called shamshara and i don't know anyone else that wants to go watch the movie so i'm gonna go alone not only do you get to pick the movie but you also get to pick the time that you want to go so i'm gonna pick the 6 p.m show and also if you look at these seatings there's not a lot of seats open and if I was going with, say, one or two other people, I would have to sit in the very corner. But since I'm going alone, I'm picking my seat and I'm going right in the middle. And it's not like it's an IMAX screen. It's a pretty tiny screen, so I'll be comfortable. Now that I've gotten my ticket, I picked the movie that I wanted to watch, picked the seat that I wanted and the showtime that I wanted. I'll see you guys at the theater. All right, so I'm practically already here at the movies, but I did quickly want to say that I've been going to the movies alone since I came back to the movies from the pandemic, which my first one back was A Quiet Place 2, and I did actually end up watching that one by myself, and it was such a good experience. Honestly, it was really fun and exhilarating to watch a horror movie all by myself. I know a lot of people might be scared about watching horror movies alone, and I'm not watching a horror movie today, but I still had a lot of fun with it, and honestly, horror movies alone make them a lot more exhilarating. They make them a lot more fun, a lot more scary, and it feels like you're really in the element of the movie itself. Itself. If I could recommend one specific type of movie to watch by yourself, I would say horror. But as we were pulling into the parking lot, I do want to give you guys the second reason. And this is probably the silliest reason, but honestly, it makes a lot of sense is that you don't have to share your snacks or food with anyone. Now, this might seem like a really stupid reason, but actually it's a lot of fun. This is going to go along with my third point. All right. I just parked, but you can't forget the sweater at a theater. I recently went to go watch Nova and I forgot a sweater and I had my hands inside my shirt the entire time. It was freezing cold in there. I'm running a little bit late, so I'll see you guys inside. Just got my snacks, not sharing it with anyone because there's no one else here. Alright, I just got out of the movie and I'm gonna give you guys a third reason. You just have to take yourself out sometimes. I'm not a firm believer in taking yourself out on dates, but at least two hours to yourself every other week is needed. I think the movie is the perfect time because it also lets you express emotion, take in emotion from the art itself. And let's be honest, as corny as that sounds, it's 100% true. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. There's not a certain aspect of this movie that I found myself most relating to, as this was also a time period piece on British colonizing India. But that doesn't mean I couldn't emotionally grasp something from the movie. I learned a lot about the time period. I got to spend three whole hours by myself. And like I said before, I didn't have to wait on anyone. I didn't have to depend on anyone. I just took myself out. I went to go watch this movie. I had a really fun time. I was enjoying myself with the movie. A lot of people are going to be like, oh, you can't enjoy it without a friend or a family member or someone else there with you. That statement itself is just not true at all. You're not supposed to be going to the movies as some sort of social event. You're not even supposed to be talking during the movie. So it doesn't matter if you go to the movie with someone. You could go separately and talk about it after and it'd be the same exact thing. Now, I understand a lot of people, again, you feel awkward. You feel like you're you're not meant to be there alone. You always see people go together and you might feel lonely. Trust me, no one cares about it. It's an event that you can do by yourself. It's something that you can experience by yourself. And like I said before, if anything, you can share and show more emotion towards a movie, towards a certain subject slash topic that you wouldn't be able to share with someone else if you were afraid or embarrassed. And like I said before, this was such a fun experience, a three hour time period, epic movie. And on all fronts, this movie was just absolutely epic. And I'm so glad I got to experience it. Whether it was by myself or with someone else, I had a great time. I guys, so I just got home the movie i don't care what anyone says going to the movies alone is very very fun it's a great experience and i've been doing it a lot now i'll say this if there is a certain movie that i've been super excited for for a very long time sometimes i will not go opening night just so i can watch it with certain people and usually movies like that are franchise movies or something that i've been anticipating for a super long time for example like the dune or the batman stuff like that along with bigger event movies that come once every few months so those types of movies i like watching with other people but all these other movies there's really no reason to go with anyone a lot 
along with the three reasons I mentioned in this video, going to the movies is not really a social thing. At the movie and during the movie itself, you're not really supposed to be talking to anyone. So it's mostly just talking before and after the movie itself. But that's just my personal take. I'd love to know your guys' take on going to the movies alone in the comments down below. But that's basically it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, along with all my other content, like my TV show and movie reactions, reviews, and breakdowns, make sure to subscribe and notifications on so you don't miss any time I open a video or go live. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.